Hello, welcome to lesson number two of Mastering Java Volume 3. I'm Jason with CodeLearner.com. Here we're going to continue working with methods and we're finally going to learn what methods are really used for. You know, this is the kind of thing I want to teach in lesson number one when you very first learn Java, but you can't teach methods and how they work until you have a lot of foundation, which we've been building. Um, basically, you can't put large programs all inside of a main method like this. It gets cumbersome. So it's very common to split your program up into little little sub chunks or functional chunks that reside in, in methods. And we'll expand on this further when we start talking about classes and objects and the object oriented nature of Java. But for now, even without all that stuff, we know that it might make sense um, to do that. And in the last section, we investigated some methods and in those methods, we, we called the method and it printed something to the screen, but it, the method didn't do anything in those cases other than just print something to the screen. So now we're going to expand on that. Methods can be thought of as a black box, right? A black box. You pass numbers or parameters into this box. We call a method. The method does something a calculation usually, or some sort of function. And in many cases, the method returns a value back to where or whoever called it. So we might have some code here and we want to do a calculation. So we create a method down here, which will do that calculation, compartmentalize it, and the result will be then passed back to wherever we called from. So just think of our previous example and when we're calling methods and we bounce back. Now we're expanding that. We're going to be passing values down to a function. A calculation will be done or some computation or something, and then a value will come back up to where we started. So let's stop talking about it and do it, and I'll just show you uh, very quickly and easily how simple it is to make methods work and, and simplify your code. So let's declare a couple of variables. We're going to declare the first variable. We'll call it uh, number num1, let's call it.